Hi, I'm Shondi and I have spent an undisclosed sum of money on clothes because I might have a slight moderate shopping addiction, but we don't talk about that. I like to justify everything that I bought with the fact that I haven't really gone shopping since I was going into grade 11 and now I'm graduating. Class of 2021 fun. I had no graduation and no prom even though I've been looking forward to prom since elementary school but you know what it's fine. It's fine. I'll survive. Anyways back to the main point. I'm broke but it's not that bad because at least I'm happy with all the clothes I got. Everything that I got is either from Rongui slash Sheen, Winners, and I got some jewelry off of AliExpress. Oh, I also made some stuff. If you want to check out that video, it will be like, I think on this side. And some of them are also hand-me-downs from my sister. So without further ado, let me get into the tops. So I got this top from Rongui in a small, I really like t-shirts with embroidery because I feel like they just look so much better than printed t-shirts. I just have like this new appreciation for earth tones or like neutral tones. I feel like I always get t-shirts but I never know how to style them. So please give me some styling tips in the comments. So this top is definitely one of my favorites if not my favorite top that I got. This is so cute to me. I can dress it down with jeans. I can dress it up with a skirt. This makes me want to put on a maxi skirt, paint my nails white, and go to a garden or some shit like that. I got this in a size small and it's supposed to be like a corset top but it doesn't actually have the boning so it's just stretchy. But it's just so flattering, it makes the girls look good and the point kind of makes your waist look smaller but like I also like that it covers my belly button. Sometimes my belly button being out just feels like too much but I feel like if you're gonna get one thing from this haul it should be this top. For this top, I was kind of iffy about whether I should buy it or not. I think I took it in and out of my cart like four times. I got this in a size small. This is just a pink halter top and then it has an embroidered strawberry on it. To be honest, I don't really know how much I'm going to wear it because it's see-through and can't wear a regular bra with it. But I do think it's cute so hopefully I'll at least wear it for like an Instagram picture or something. So the next top I got is also a halter top and this one ties at the back. I'd say this one definitely feels better quality than the last, like the fabric feels thicker and also because it's black, I can wear this without a bra because it's not see-through. I actually wore this to like a senior sunset that was organized by some of my friends. And I wore this without a bra because I was like, you know what, free the nipple. But I ended up just feeling uncomfortable sometimes. <laughs> so I need to get more used to not wearing a bra in public. Also, just between you and me, one of my boobs are bigger than the other one. So I don't know if like other people notice it, but it kind of makes me feel a little bit insecure. <laughs> So this one is a mesh shirt and I was too lazy to like get a shirt to put under it so just bear with me but I saw this on sale for like $5 and I really wanted it. Okay so this is what I'm thinking. This top with like a black Calvin Klein bra and some chocolate brown corduroy pants like you cannot tell me that that's not a look. And for Christmas I got these earrings and one side is the moon and the other side is the sun and it's literally perfect to pair with this. Like, I feel like I should be walking around in an art gallery right now. Or imagine this with like pants that actually fit me. <laughs> and some like white chunky feel of shoes or something. I feel like that would be cute. I got a couple of colored shirts like these to wear under sweater vests. Honestly, I really like this top because I feel like I don't even like need to wear a sweater vest over it. Like I think it's really cute by itself. I think for all of my tops, I got them in a size small unless I wanted an oversized look. I also got this in white in a long sleeve version and I feel like I'm going to wear this under so many tops in winter. And lastly, I also got a white short sleeve version of this top. So this is sweater vest number one. I don't know what it is about this sweater vest, maybe the color, but this sweater vest just gives me very much like 
rich private kid vibes. I wore it with a skirt that I made in my last video. The pictures are on my Instagram if you want to check it out. And it also matches my nail color. I feel like this sweater vest would be the school uniform of the public school that has a rivalry with the rich private school. I still really like this color though and I feel like I never like really owned brown clothes before but brown is such an underrated color like it looks good on everyone. This is the last sweater vest I bought, it's just a green one. We aren't surprised by the earth tones. I low-key forgot about this top but this top is definitely my favorite. I don't know why I have such an affinity, such an attraction for this top, but when I saw it on Romney's website, I I don't know, I just like fell in love with it. Like it's so corny. It says best day ever together we are so super and then it has Snoopy on it. And the best part about this shirt is the color. I've been deprived my whole life because I have never had a top this color. If you wear tanks a lot, definitely get this tank. I really like it. When I saw this top online, I was vibing with it so hard. Like, I really wanted this top, but now that I actually have it, I kind of regret getting this because it's just another top. And I literally have another top with the same design that I'll show you guys in a second. It's not a bad top, but like, I don't love it. But the mushroom is embroidered, by the way. I also got this top in a small, but it's oversized. I really like the fit, but can we just have a moment of silence to appreciate the embroidery on this one? Like, I don't even care about Alaska like that. And again, I think that the brown just suits me really well. I need to take an Advil and change my tampon, so I will be right back. Last night, my cramps got so bad that after I took the Advil, I just went to bed. So I got this next top from Garage in an extra small. It's just a black mesh crop top with some lettuce hemming on like the bottom and the sleeves. Whenever I go to downtown Toronto and I want to go to the beach, I might just wear this top with my bikini under it. So this is the next top. It's from Fashion Nova, but my sister gave it to me. I like it. I feel like there's not much to say because it's just a plain top, but this is a size small and the fabric doesn't really stretch that much. So if you're thinking about sizing up on this top, then I would definitely have to size up. But she also gave it to me in two other colors. So I have the same thing in white and I have it in green as well. So next I have this crew neck and I literally had to get this one because it says Outer Banks and Season 2 is coming out, I think, on like July 29th or something. And the front is also embroidered, so it just makes the quality look a lot better. The material isn't really what you'd expect, like, the material of a crew neck to be. It's almost like a really short teddy material. But this is so cute to me, and I can see myself going to class like this at least like once a week in the winter or the fall. Honestly, for like half or two-thirds of the year because in Canada it's winter from like mid-October to the beginning of May. Dead ass. Like I'm, I'm not even joking. Anyways, I think this is the last top I got. I thought that the bear was really cute because it has an X on one of its eyes, but I don't really have much to say about this top. I feel like it will honestly just be more like loungewear to me than something I wear going out. So now we're going to be moving on to bottoms. I've been wearing these jeans for the entire video so far, but I got these jeans from Romley. I got them in a size medium, but if I were to order jeans again, I would definitely get them in a small because this is just too big on me. Like, and it's kind of annoying because if I want them to fit high rise, then I have to wear them with a belt, but like, I don't want to wear it with a belt. I'm 5'7", and like just in terms of body proportions, I have long legs. So it's really hard for me to find pants that are actually like long enough for me. If these jeans actually fit me properly, I would literally wear them every day. So the next pants I got are these pairs of shorts. I literally only got them because they match with this shirt. These will definitely just be pajama shorts or lounge shorts because they don't have pockets so I probably wouldn't wear it out that much, if at all. I just thought that it would make for a cute set and I got it in a size small. Next, I got this pair of Levi shorts from Winners, but it's just a pair of high-waisted shorts in a size 27 and I wasn't able to try it on when I got these. So then when I came home, to my surprise, there was no zipper. 
it just has freaking buttons like imagine that you need to pee so badly that you think you're gonna piss yourself and then you go to the washroom and forget that you have to undo all these fucking buttons before you can let out your piss like so i was actually gonna return these because of the buttons like i just wanted something with a zipper but i had already taken off a tag and like i didn't want to be a nuisance so I'm just keeping them. I'm still gonna wear them though because they're still good shorts. Next, I got this pleated skirt and if you saw my last video, you would know that I've been wanting like a pleated skirt or a tennis skirt for so long. I know that I can make a pleated skirt for myself so I wanted to get one that like I wouldn't necessarily be able to make on my own because I probably wouldn't find this fabric at like my fabric store. But I really love the color, it's just like neutral so I feel like I could pair it with a lot of things. And past like the age of five or six, I never really been a skirt or a dress person. So I'm kind of trying to get back into that. So hopefully I wear this soon because that is not going to be a waste of money. Next, I got this pair of pants from Romley as well. This is just some baggy black cargo pants. And I really like it because of how much pocket space it has. I don't think that this is the best pair of cargo pants because I don't know if you guys can tell, but like... Like, you can kind of see how it looks grayer or whiter in some areas. And I think I've only washed this, like, max three times, probably two times. Next, I got this pair of shorts in a medium. Oh my god, if you're buying something off of Sheen and Romwe, always read the reviews for, like, tips about the sizing because the sizing is just so off sometimes. But the waist fits me perfectly, which I find so weird because like the other jeans I got in a medium are really big. Next, I got this pair of jeans in a size 27. But the first time I tried on these jeans, it was just after I had a Mother's Day lunch with my family. If you want to see that video, you can check it out. Like we made a lot of food and I ate so well. And then I got these in the mail. I tried them on and they didn't fit at all. And to be honest, that did kind of like take a blow at my self-confidence but remember this you are not made to fit into clothes clothes are made to fit into you so remember if you don't fit into something it's not a big deal because like you were not made to fit into a pair of jeans or like a top or whatever it is the next pair of pants i got are these sweat shorts in a size small these shorts are probably one of my favorite purchases like they're so versatile you can wear them out you can work out in them and they have big ass pockets like they're not the small pockets that half of the female pants that even come with pockets have like they're actual big pockets and i also got these in a black pair because i knew that i would wear them like 24 7. i also got this pair of shorts and i got it in a size small and when i saw this pair of shorts on the model it was darker than the model so for some reason i forgot that i was like black and i was expecting them to be darker on me too and then when they came it was this color and i was like oh but i still like them i also got this pair of shorts from romley in a small and i was really really scared that these shorts wouldn't fit me because i got them in a size small but i took a gamble and they fit me perfectly which is really weird because the shorts that I got in medium also fit me perfectly, like, the sizing really doesn't add up. The tennis skirt isn't iron, so it looks kind of weird, but I made this tennis skirt in my last video. It's kind of short, and by kind of short, I mean, like, if I bend over, my whole ass would be out. So I probably wouldn't wear it much. For my first tennis skirt, I think that this looks pretty good. In my last video, I also made this pair of corduroy pants using like a pattern that I have. Don't look at the top of the pants too much because if you do, you will see like the tens of mistakes that I made. The top looks really bad to be honest. Like I will only be wearing these if I know that this part will be covered because this ain't it. I think the color is really cute and I'm really excited to wear it more. I paired it with the brown Alaska shirt that I have because the Alaska is yellow and this is tan so they kind of match. And finally, this is the last pair of pants I got. I got this in a small. I feel like everyone has seen that picture of Emma Chamberlain wearing like flared yoga pants with a sweatshirt. And to be honest, that's the only reason why I really wanted a pair of like flared tights because I thought that outfit was so cute. 
So now we're going to be moving on to outerwear and this category is pretty short because I only have two things. But this is definitely my favorite piece in this entire haul and it means the most to me because my sister made this with her two hands and her crochet hook. Like literally I'll show you guys the inspo picture and I literally love this so much. I can literally fit everything I need in here including my phone, my giant bottle of Advil, extra strength liquid gels 400 milligrams this is the good shit okay and even an entire makeup bag this is literally everything i need in life and like look at how good this looks look at how good this looks the collar the sunflowers the color like oh my god i love this chelsea if you're watching this thank you so much for making this for me i will definitely hop on those sewing projects that i've been telling you i was gonna do for you and never did I will get to those soon. <laughs> and the last piece of outerwear I have is this sweater. I was looking for an oversized fit so I ordered a large and does this look like a large to you? For the price it's cute, it's a cute color but I would not buy this again. So the next category is going to be dresses which will also be really short because I only have two dresses. But this piece also holds a special place in my heart because I made it in my last video and honestly I think I did a pretty good fucking job. I think the color looks amazing on me, the only problem is I really hate the pattern of the fabric and therefore I probably won't be making this but I will definitely be remaking this just with fabric that I actually like. But this is so cute, it's a little short, but that's how we like it. So this is the last dress that I got. I actually got this one as like a graduation dress. It didn't really turn out that well because I was going to wear it to pick up my grad cap and gown since we didn't actually get a graduation. And my scheduled time to pick up my grad cap and gown was right after work. So I was changing into this dress in the bathroom of my workplace just to put it on and realize that I could still see my hot pink underwear through the dress and, and I did not think of bringing shorts to wear under the dress so that kind of died and I had to go in my work clothes which was fun and while I'm here let me just quickly do the bag category I also made this in my last video I wanted a tote bag because first of all they're just convenient and second of all I wanted to be that uni kid with a tote bag so I made this out of white corduroy what the heck is going on with my necklace speaking of necklaces the next category is jewelry Bro, if you're gonna get anything, anything from this haul, it has to be this bikini. Like, first of all, it is so cute and this will make your boobs look so good like put this in your car buy this right now and you will thank me later this is what the bottoms look like they're not too cheeky which i like and it also comes with a sarong which is super cute it's literally such a cute set so i also got this one in a medium and i feel like the color looked more like vibrant online but honestly like i don't even regret it or anything it's still really cute it took me a minute to figure out how to use this clasp thing. The bottoms aren't too cheeky and I really like how the sides tie. I got a pack of five cow socks. You might be wondering why I got these. I mostly got these because I thought they were the type of socks that have like this hard thing. I don't, I really don't know what it's called, but like there are some socks that have this like 
hard thing on it so that they won't come off your heel when you're walking. It's not that type of sock, but I guess it's still cute. It came with these striped ones, and then we got some with bigger stripes. We got some that say sweet milk cow print and lastly just plain black ones so i got these sunglasses and they came in a pack of two i don't know how i particularly feel about these sunglasses because i don't exactly think they suit my face shape do you think they look good on me because i don't think they look that good on me and it came with a black one too I don't know, like actually please comment down below whether you think these glasses look good on me because I really don't think that they suit me. Next, I got this pair of socks. They're just dainty white socks and they have like hearts along them. If you used to have like the type of parents or the mom that would dress you up like a doll to go to church, you probably had socks like these once in your life. You're obsessed, just let me go. You're dead to me. I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier I was talking about how I got a pair of socks that matched that like milk strawberry top that I got. Oh my, I didn't even see this, but at the bottom it says 200 milliliters. Like, that is actually so cute. Next, I got more dainty socks. These are just plain ribbed socks with like a lettuce hem at the top, and I got them in black and white. It came in like a pack of two. I bought a pair of Mary Janes. I wanted like dainty socks to wear with it, so... This is kind of similar to like the white one with the hearts, except this one just has like mesh at the top. And in the reviews, I actually saw someone wearing this like under their Doc Martens and you could see like this coming out and I thought it would be so cute to wear with my Doc Martens. I promise you this is the last pair of dainty socks. But I also have this one. It's cute. It has like this lace at the top and it also has hearts going down it. It's supposed to go like way beyond your ankle but like I guess it just doesn't stretch that much or it was made for like size 6 bitches but I'm a good size like eight and a half in shoes. Barely grazes my ankle. All of these accessories are from Romney by the way. And lastly, I'm not gonna take this out of the packaging because I'm not gonna try it on, but I got this pair of like heart stockings. I know that these are probably gonna rip after like one use, but I thought that this would be good to wear with like an outfit like not an out not just any regular outfit the outfit thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my boring ass voice ramble on about clothes for i'm guessing this video will be like in between 15 and 20 minutes long i'm just curious out of like everything in this haul what are your favorite pieces and also please give me styling suggestions in the comments on like certain pieces or like what you would pair together because i could definitely use it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye